Here's the fallout over at NBC. Uh, Chris Matthews and Maria Bartiromo are going to be the moderators for this debate. And Chris Matthews given the comment about uh, the Bush administration and cr uh, criminality. And keep in mind, Chris Matthews also used to work for Democrats as well. And apparently at that same thing you were talking about, uh, he said, God help us if we had Cheney during the Cuban Missile Crisis, we'd be under a parking lot. Okay. Well, apparently Maria Bartiromo, the money honey, is a little worried about uh, getting some blowback from her co-host, Chris Matthews. Well, she's worried about ratings for the debate, first and foremost, because she's getting a big opportunity to be part of this thing. And she's worried people won't watch now because they're going to be mad at Chris Matthews. And she's also worried she will not be able to snag any key interviews in the future right. with GOP lawmakers. Well, according to Big Head DC, she's already received some blowback from conservatives. She had hoped that the debate would shine positive light on their money channel. And now she's worried whether her association with Matthews will damage her future reporting efforts. Well, she would probably like to take that hammer right now and hit him in the head. Well, they, they should be worried. Fox Business Channel uh, is going to be starting soon. Yeah, so yeah, that, next, that's next uh, that's uh, their first competition ever, and I'm sure she's going to be challenged for the first time ever. And here's the interesting thing, is that he actually did a debate before, and remember the Fox Business Channel? I know all three of them, but it's only windy for Alexis. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Her, her, you know who else is receiving... And, um, and David Asman have a lot of uh, aqua gel. gel. But, but here's the thing, though. Do you remember how long Chris Matthews' questions were on the very first debate? I barely even heard the candidates. Shorter questions are always better. Mm -hmm. uh, another person who's getting some blowback, Dan Abrams, taking us to task yesterday. He was defending Chris Matthews, and he specifically pointed out our show and specifically something that I said, saying that uh -oh. when, when I said when Fox News does debates, we have our political team, that's right, non-biased, do the debates. I right. think of Britt Hume. I think of Wendell Gohler. I think of Chris Wallace. Sure. Who, who do the debates unbiased. Now, mm -hmm. Dan Abrams says that the Republicans have had Fox News talking about their talking points since 1996. I'm here to tell you that I've never received any talking points from the Republican Party, so that's that, point number one that's not accurate. Also, you <laughs> said... Like somebody gets up early in Washington and sends us stuff. Yeah, exactly. We get up at 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, you know, I take my talking points from my own head. Thank you very much. Uh, also, he said that Chris Matthews expresses his opinions on his show, which are far less predictable than any host covering politics on Fox News. Uh, uh, again, we receive our talking points from our own heads, and also Chris Matthews did not say those blasphemous comments on his show. He said them at a public event where maybe he felt that nobody else was listening. And he prefaced it with, I'm going to make some news here with mm -hmm. all the executives in the audience. How about the executives in the audience? They must have been outraged by this. Yeah. Well, we'll find out.